Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to your mid-monthly forecast horoscope. It's going to be now until the end of July, and we're going to be covering love, career and finance, and what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know can help your situation. And if you guys uh, like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. And also, I want to say, guys, I really appreciate all of the shares, likes, and subscribes, and my members. I really appreciate all of your support. All right. And if you guys would like a personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, so first is going to be love, then career and finance, and then what you need to know spiritually, you don't know that you need to know can help you. All right, and again, if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Could you both, let's jump right in. All right, what's gonna have my Aries romantic love life? Now until the end of July, show me crazy to see. Show me the cards I need. Two, see. All right, let's take a look, Aries. All right, so we got the Queen of Cups coming out as the first card. So obviously this is gonna be coming out soon. So Queen of Cups talks about contemplation, really figuring out what I, you know, somebody wants like to figure out, okay, should I give my heart to this person or not, right? Could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy involved. It looks like there could be advice being given or contemplation because an apology is coming in. All right, let's see what this is about. All right, bottom of the deck. Yeah, definitely somebody wants to reveal or speak a truth to you, Aries. All right, let's keep going. What's gonna happen to my Aries romantic love life? Give me nine cards, my Aries romantic love life. Give me nine cards, my Aries career and finance. For now until the end of July. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, Aries, let's take a look. Yeah, someone, Aries is really upset, sad about the connection. They want to protect this, okay? Guard this. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Go down the layer here. It's gonna have my Aries romantic love life now until the end of July. Show me the cards you can see. Show me the cards you need to see. Okay, so someone is feeling the pinch around the situation. They wanna overcome obstacles in the connection. So it's like, when I look at this particular card, it's like a person is like, I'm not sure if I'm if I'm happy or sad. But Six of Pentacles talks about giving, all right, a gift or giving to the connection or wanting to bring things into balance, okay? This person wants to reunite with you with the six, what this is like the Six of Cups kind of energy. Like, I wanna say hello again. I wanna get back together. Let's keep going because I love you. So someone is really feeling hurt. They want to overcome obstacles and blockages and they want to reunite Aries. So, and what I'm feeling is there was something that happened with you guys that could have been passionate in nature. And uh, there's like a little bit of a wildness in the connection. It's like a very strong chemistry and passion here. Um, but it's like, there's definitely like also this, this strong passionate pull between you and this person. Let's just go down the layer on this. How does Aries love interest? Excuse me. What's kind of an Aries romantic love life now until the end of July? Show me cards you to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Yeah, someone really wants to have a future with you. They're like, unblock me, Aries. Why are you gonna let me go? It's like a self-focus going on here. Isolation, separation, okay? I deeply love you. I was really delusioned about this situation. And I listened to other people's opinions. I want you to make a choice, Aries. I really want you to be honest with me. 
I feel like our connection is really unique. I don't want this to be a goodbye. There's this juggling about this heavy decision. I can't stop thinking about you. I want to have successful plans here. I'm emotionally attached. I need to know where I stand with you emotionally. I really want a decision to be made. I don't want there to be this juggling about this heavy. So it seems like you have a decision to make, Aries. Okay, this person's coming back into your life. They're apologizing. They don't want to let you go. Okay, uh, they're letting you know what happened because obviously we see at the bottom of the deck we see this speaking this truth, and we see traveling to you possibly or overcoming these obstacles or blockages. So it seems like there's a lot of overanalyzing going on here with the Knight of Pentacles energy. And I see that you're, you're realizing your value worth with the Queen of Wands, and you don't want to make any abrupt decision because you're just like, oh, look, I have other options here. Like, you know, other people are checking me out. They're noticing me. They're, you know, I, I have a lot of strong interest in me. So, but this person has in their mind that they want long-term with you with the Ten of Pentacles energy, and they want to they go back to the way things were before with the Six of Cups energy. They want to renew this past energy with the Six of Cups energy, okay? And uh, I see this person's coming in with a lot of heartache and sadness with the Three of Swords energy. All right, let's keep going. Yeah. I see that this, this represents travel, chariot card energy. It represents someone coming in fast, okay? Someone showing up. Um, someone who's very strong-willed, has a strong desire here for a victory. It looks like you're getting some type of advice or there's a mother, older sister around this. Yeah, someone's really determined to hit the target here because they're letting you know, Aries, I feel really lost about this. I feel lost about this. I feel upset about this. It looks like, okay, Page of Swords is coming out. So this person really, it could be a Gemini, younger Gemini Libra Aquarius energy around this. It could be a sense of immaturity, naivete. It could be somebody saying, I see your perspective. I see it from a new, way here with the page of swords energy i see it's almost like this defiance this i feel like about this page of swords this page of swords feels to me like really hmm okay that's interesting i see there's new perspective here with the page of swords and it's something about marriage long-term commitment here yep this uh this person who's far away seems to be like a lot of deep thinking of you, very deep thinking of you. And uh, we see that there was the situation where someone wants to take control of this, because for this, I've seen this in person readings, I've used this deck a couple times now, but it seems like this card comes out when it's saying, I want to get control, because remember, uh, whenever I feel, feel like the father energy, well, it could be a father and father, but uh, it's like the emperor card energy for me because the emperor is the divine masculine or the father of the tarot, but also it talks about control, right? Taking leadership role and wounds represents healing, healing something here in this connection. So if I go further here and then we're gonna go last card here, but I see this person's like, Aries, I want a future with us. And other people's opinions are making you feel a little bit lost. They're like, please unblock me. Don't let this be goodbye. Don't let me go. I, I'm emotionally attached to you. So there's a lot of self-doubt here with this nine of swords energy. The self-doubt about the situation and the sense of feeling foolish about it. And going further on this, it's like, you're like, okay, well, I need some time for myself. I need to think about things, okay, before I make a decision about this, okay. So it looks like you haven't quite made a decision. It looks like you're gonna have to make a decision. Like it's gonna be a forced situation where like someone's like, I want you to make a decision about me. But I, you do have options. I mean, you have other options. Let's just look at the signs because I know you guys like me to tell you what the signs are. So 
There's definitely a sense of confusion, but somebody wants to hit the target here, okay? And fix the situation because of deep love and overcoming this. I feel like there's a unique connection. This is a person who could be far away. There's a deep love here. We see that there is this decision that has to be made, okay? Healing love. We see a mother cautious, not sure, like, like if someone's being honest about marriage, long-term commitment. We see, I want to reunite with you. I can't stop thinking about you, and I feel foolish about the situation. Okay, let's talk about the signs around this. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy are the signs, okay? And if I look at this, it's saying patience, apology, or advice about apology. Six talks about healing, recovering, love. Nine talks about fulfillment of desires. Two, we have two two coming out, so you have to make a decision about your desires, because that's willpower, desires is, is the chariot, or this travel. And there is something about messages that cause worry and concern. All right, so let's get you guys some advice. Can I have some advice when it comes to Aries and what they should do when it comes to romance and life for the highest best good, for the best possible outcome for them? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Trust your instincts on this Aries to make this decision. And have a backup plan because you may have to clear the air here and you may not be happy about this situation. You have to do what you feel is happy for you, right? But get ready for this big, big breakthrough, this big change, this, uh, this uh, surprise that's coming up for you guys with the butterfly coming out. All right, so let's see what's going on with your current finance. Now we got the Emperor card energy. Now the Emperor represents boss, you doing your own business, you getting control, getting more organized. I see you're ending like a tough cycle or this concerned about some kind of ruination of plans. So you have this offer, this opportunity presenting itself with the Ace of Cups energy that you really love. So we see there's a hopeful energy. Let me just throw it on the rest of the cards here. I can see some of the pen I used to kind of outline these words <laughs> have gotten a little bit on the cards when with the ink. Okay, so sorry about that. Um, so it looks like you're getting some kind of advice or this could be an accountant, a, a marketing person, a lawyer, okay, to end this tough cycle here. You have this offer, this opportunity, could be to do with real estate, okay, could be to do with this building, a corporate building or in this building okay and let's keep going what's gonna have my Aries career in finance for now until the end of July show me the cards I need to see show me the cards I need to see so definitely there is some grief here but you end up getting a, a really big opportunity coming in oh nice but there is a little bit of frustration around it, okay, until things end. So there's something about a house, home, or real estate again, or a stable situation coming in for you guys. There may be some self-doubt or competition you're dealing with here. Let's keep going. You're realizing you have the key to your success, okay. You get clarity though, answers, Ace of Swords energy about this land, landowner, boss. And the regrets that happen. Looks like uh, there could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces around this. Okay, so kings represent leaders or bosses. Um, but this, this person could be highly emotional, okay? Um, or it's like you're making, you're taking uh, control of the situation to do something you really love, okay? because um, you're concerned about getting stuck in the middle when it comes to the situation. But I do see you got, wow, you got changes for the better here. So lots of change coming in, not only in your romantic love life, but also your career in finance. Let's go further. Okay, so it looks like you may have to spend some money towards the end of the month here. But you are surprised. Yep, shock and surprise. Let's see what this is about. About how many options you have. Like a lot of people are looking at you like, whoa, Aries. Hey, you're doing some kind of socializing. 
or you have to spend money to do some kind of socializing to get some options here. Seven of Cups energy. Yeah, to climb the ladder of success. Because mm -hmm. of concerned about this loss, okay? So you're gonna, it, okay, so let's just talk about what that could be, all right? It could talk about, you have to do something in business that's gonna require you to spend some money to do it, okay? So whether that be going to a conference, okay? Going to a networking event, okay? Spending, uh, spending money to, to get your resume in order, okay? Something is going to be, some kind of money is gonna be spent to make you, uh, get you in front of people, to give you some uh, opportunities to climb the ladder of success to give you some options, okay? Sure. Seven of Cups energy. You're being very strategic with the Seven of Swords and listening to your gut and your intuition about this. Yeah, something important. Yeah, such as a new job or a raise, okay. So there's some grief here, but you have the key to your success. There's gonna be major changes and a windfall of an opportunity coming in. Yes, you're gonna have to deal with some regrets about uh, climbing this ladder of success and will cause you a little bit of frustration, but major changes are coming in this either new job or receiving a bonus here, extra money. What do they always say? You have to spend money to make money, right? Hopefulness and the self-doubt or competition, surprise. You get this lawyer, this uh, accountant, this marketing person to give you some kind of edge when it comes to this loss or uh, taking away some kind of stability. Some of you guys, if you're involved in real estate, okay, obviously if you're involved in real estate, you, have, you may have to spend some money for some marketing or you're collaborating with someone. So, um, and or if you're even, if you own real estate, you know, you may have to uh, have somebody help you manage the property. So there's something you're doing with this where you have to spend money in order for you to have the success in this opportunity. Because you're like, oh, I have to be strategic. So you're making some power moves here when it comes to this house, home, or stability, and spending some money to end this tough cycle because of this clarity that you got about some options. You have an option that you really love, and you're taking a leadership role towards something you really love here, and you're being very strategic with the Seven of Swords energy because you're concerned about regrets and not having a, a decision here and it's making you feel a little bit defeated so you're going to have to be patient for things to come into balance but yeah you're following your creativity and your passions here towards long-term happiness ten of cups energy so you're making some power moves this month uh, the rest of this month to kind of get your things in, in order here for the long term and you're doing some things and spending some money for collaborations or information uh, or even marketing that could help you uh, with your business or to do the things you're doing here with your career in finance, but it does seem like it's gonna give you an edge. So let's get you guys some advice. Can I have some advice for my Aries when it comes to their career in finance? What's best, best good for the best possible event? What should they do now until the end of July? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, dig in, dig in and listen to the signs, pay attention to the signs and be confident about this, okay? Yeah, you gotta follow your dreams on this. Get your priorities in order. If you're determined you're gonna get there, follow your creativity and your passions. You're gonna have all the resources that you need. Just sit back, listen and watch, okay? And uh, do some planning here. You have the hindsight to see the bigger picture. Defend this position and you'll adapt to the situation and obstacles and blockages will be lifted. All right, so now let's ask what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know. I have these like manifestor cards, so let's see, Aries. What does Aries need to know spiritually that they don't know that they need to know can help them? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's find out. Aries. All right, I slow down and listen to the guidance that's available for me. So, see, this is the thing. We're getting messages all the time from the universe. It's just that we don't pay attention to them. So they're saying, listen, we're giving you messages to help you. Slow down, listen. 
When I live and act from a place of spiritual alignment, I can trust that everything is working out for me, even if I don't know when or how it will happen. So you have to trust in divine timing a little bit more. Okay, guys? And I'm in awe of my magnificent guidance that is available to me. Yeah, it's showing me that you guys are getting guidance. You just have to pay attention to the messages. Okay, so let me just give you an example. Okay, sometimes you have people that will say, okay, this number is yes, sure. You get 1111 sometimes, you get 33, 33, all those kinds of things. You can learn numerology, you can learn about symbolisms because what if you really want to be a really good for my other readers out there, you want to be a really good psychic, you're getting messages from your spirit guides. You need to know what those symbols and those messages and those colors mean to interpret it, okay? It's not, you just can't say to the person, okay, this is, this is what I see. They're like, okay, well, what does that mean to me, right? So what I would say to your guides is say, okay, give me messages or understandings that are clear cut for me. All right, say that to the universe. And also, Listen to the conversations that people are having with you. They will say the same things over and over and over again if you're, if you're listening. Like, I'll give you an example. When I was doing my food manufacturing company, I did that for like five years, but I wanted to make my own product. I wanted to be all pure, you know, organic, non-GMO, all this kind of stuff, but I was trying to do everything on my own, right? But everyone just kept saying to me, hey, you're gonna get a co-packer? You're gonna get a co-packer? You're gonna help somebody make the product? Somebody else gonna make the product? You're gonna get a co-packer? Literally, I used to hear that all the time, but I ignored it. And now in hindsight, I realized that the universe was saying to me, you needed to get the co-packer. <laughs> but um, so it, it's, it's there. You just have to just tune yourself into it and, and uh, be aware that your spirit guides are sending you, the universe is sending you messages, okay? All right, my beautiful Aries, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.